Woohoo! Hello, Americans! Another friend subscribers around the world. Back here, man! It is flipping cold this morning. Got it up uh, around the trading post, obviously. Yeah, I got about uh, 56 in here right now. It was out there. Uh, I don't think we hit below zero, but uh, when I looked at it, got up at I think 4:30 this morning, man. 4:30 it was like seven degrees, six degrees, something like that. And then as the sun came up, dropped down about two degrees, man. And uh, not supposed to get above freezing today. So, this morning, actually I need to check this, it's going everything's going nuts, man, boom, got that that I want to read to you in a minute, so anyway, let's go, uh, what are we going to start with today, <laughs> there's always something, man, this morning, actually, man, my mind's been on it a lot, you know, and I talked about a few videos ago, and that is the, uh, don't mess with my fish, man. You know, and the stuff that I was reading, and the fish being poisoned, and that there's more, uh, toxins, I got me a new one of these, there's more toxins in, uh, that you could drink. What was it? Drink contaminated water for a month equals what's in a fish. You know, that was what we were, that I'd read, or actually they've been putting out there. You know, and then you, uh, dude, there's so much crap going on. As I asked Muskrat yesterday, I'm just like, dude, is all this crap real? Or are we just paranoid, man? You know, what the heck, man? Every flipping day it's something. You know, and then man starts going into the fish and all that. So, then, so me and Muskrat are talking about it off and on. And, you know, man, my thinking was like, well, how the hell, how are they going to get, you know, how's this, this forever chemical going to get in my mountains, you know, and into my headwaters. Hmm. So then, uh, you know, me and Muskrat are going back and forth on it and stuff, talking about it. You know, he did a video, go over to Muskrat's channel, Muskrat Outdoors, my buddy. And he did a video about it. I think I did a video about it, then he did a video about it. And then we were talking about it yesterday. Well, he was out... I think it was yesterday when he he was out, man, uh, taking care of some stuff and ran into a, a friend of his that is a fish biologist. And so, man, what a better person than to ask, you know, about that. And he can't remember what he said, man, 15 or 20 years with fishing game and then uh, a few years with BLM, BLM and stuff. I'm not, you know, not sure if he's still if he retired or not yet but anyway so man he asked the you know the fish biologist about that and you can go over and watch his video man it's today's video I'll, if i remember i'll put the link down below so he uh asks him about it dude actually i'll just read the well no i guess that was on the text actually you can just watch his video but anyway so the fish biologist basically tells him dude that's all that's all about your crap you know same with the uh the mercury, you know, there's not the levels of mercury and stuff like that in the freshwater fish, like they're saying, and that, uh, um, you don't know what they're saying now about this forever chemical. He's all, oh, that's, you know, we haven't, we haven't found that. We haven't found that. That's bull crap. So then, I told Muskrat yesterday, I was like, oh man, you better do a video and tell him, you know, do an update thing and talk about that because that, man, that's awesome, man. That makes me feel a lot better. Alright, so man freaking so he does that that uh video and then another buddy of mine, man, and I'll, if I remember I'll put his link in the thing down below is uh Timber Drifter. And uh so Timber Drifter 
comments on here. Here, I'll read this to you. Uh, temper drifter. The PFAS chemicals are forever chemicals. Have been in wide use since the 50s in a huge range of products. Been big news around here for four plus years, and he's back east. This state has been shutting. This state has been shutting down public wells around here because of it for several years. They keep finding it in private wells, lakes, and streams here too. Around here, it seems to have been most widely spread by the use of fire suppression foam. Man, I was like, oh, dude, the lights went on. And we got a lot of fires. That they used to fight forest fires. I, I expect that's how it is spread over much of the West. The stuff is quite potent, potent, and it doesn't take much to be dangerous, supposedly. It was known as, it was a known carcinogen long before local governments and conspiracy theorists started talking about it. The industry documents from many decades ago show that they tested it and knew it was harmful. It's not good to man. But how real is the threat? In what amount is it found and where? Are we jumping the gun and overreacting or are we taking enough precautions? Is there a way to read? These are all questions he asks. Is there a way to remove it from the water? If not, let's get to work on that. Seems like we need to develop test kits for it too. Yeah, I'd love to have something where I can go test that. Anyway, it's not going to stop me from fishing for now. Yeah, it ain't. Uh, it ain't gonna stop this hillbilly from fishing, dude. I live for my fishing, man. So, uh, so after Muskrat's video, I felt good for a minute. <laughs> and then, man, when he said the that it's in the fire, you know, the fire retardant suppression, whatever, you know, on the foam. And then, oh, actually, there was another comment on that from somebody else. Let me get that. Hold on. And then, so there was another uh, comment on Timber Drifter's comment. I learned something too, Gary, that even with the PCBs in Lake Hartwell, well, you would have to eat, oh this ain't even the thing, but I'm reading it anyway. You would have to eat an ungodly amount of fish from the lake for it to be harmful. Whether we worry too much or not enough is the question, I guess. Okay, that wasn't the one I was thinking. Here it is. Holy crap, there's a whole bunch I haven't seen yet. I'm about to get on here. Here we go. Got lost, man. There's a lot more comments since I was on there earlier. This one here. So, uh, most widely spread by the use of fire suppression foam used to fight fi forest fires. I worked in wildland fire for 15 years. They don't use foam to fight fi forest fires. They don't use foam anymore to fight the fi forest fires. And it doesn't even say anymore. <laughs> so we're so we did this little wee wee. All right. Oh no. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I'm still. Who the hell knows? That's where we're at. Back to that. Like I said, is this crap real? Or are we just all paranoid? Conspiracy theories, you know. So man, I'm exactly back where. Uh, Back with it to where I was two days ago, man. I have no idea. But I do know, you know, because I run the fish fences and stuff to protect the bull trout. You know, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. But in the fall, I run fish fences for two months, taking care to keep cattle out of the spawning beds of the bull trout. And the fish biologists, obviously, are up there. Uh, so I'll have to catch her. There's a fish biologist up there. I'll get, try to catch up with her next time I see her and talk to her about it. And then I also know a guy 
he's out of McCall, fishing game guy that helped me out with the the bear a couple years ago. And I'll ask him so I'll get my own thing there, but it's all, you know, dude, it's so, like I said, really what I'd like is to have me a test kit thing where I can just test the water and test the dang fish, man, because that's terrible. But is it going to stop me from eating and catching and eating fish? Probably not. All right, let's, uh, so there's on the fish thing, and I jotted a few things down here, excuse me. Jotted a few things down here that I thought I'd talk about. It's just little things that pop into my mind as we're moving along here. So let me see here. Oh, watching and listening, you know, podcasts and YouTube videos. You know, and I'll be uh, checking out some things. You know, I've been checking out so many new shit. There's so many freaking. Uh, I haven't looked under, you know, like Homestead. You know, for Homestead channels in a long time, and ho, ho, holy crap, man, there is a lot of Homestead and off-grid stuff, man. It is insane how many channels there is now. So anyway, man, so I'm listening to some of the, you know, or listening to a few, a few of the folks, and you know, some good information, some, you know, all right, some just I didn't like it <laughs> or like their their stuff. That's all fine and good, you know. I ain't mentioned no dang names or no crap like that. But um, the one thing that uh, that man, more than one of them, and actually people that I talk to around, you know, uh, locals I know, man, even people from down the flatlands, you know, up here in Idaho, man, we're you know most, the majority of us. Well, I don't know about it anymore, but it used to be, man, we're all you know hunters and fishermen and stuff like that and that's one of the things that oh man if shit hits the fan i'm just gonna go up and go hunting man i'm just gonna catch me some fish down there at the river and you know shoot a deer too maybe an elk you know and that's uh you know uh, dude that can't be your plan everybody and their brother thinks that they're just gonna go up and hunt and a lot of them they never hunted or shot nothing you know that's a uh, that's not a that's not a good plan, you know. Of course, you know. Same with me, obviously. You know, just like just like I hunt and fish, even when uh, shit hasn't hit the fan. You know, <laughs> that's how I feed. You know, and have fed and you know, or at least partially fed, and supplied our meat and all that. My whole life, you know, that's just what we do. That's our way of life, you know. That's you know these people that never really done it or whatever, and all of a sudden think they're just gonna run up to the woods and it's as easy as just going out and doing that. Well, not only that, if things are bad, you know, and it really is, you know, whatever you want to call it, man, into days, whatever you want to call it, and all these people think they're gonna run up to the woods and just shoot a deer. Or, elk or whatever that's going to be a heck of a lot of uh folks out in the woods with guns in some bad times so i see that probably not coming out so great you know man they end up uh shooting hunting each other is what it probably end up being man that's just you know i just heard that like i said on a couple of, i was checking out some some new channels i guess is one way to do it because there are a lot of them <laughs> And then another one that, this I didn't see on uh, you know, YouTube or anything, but comments, you know. And that's, uh, and from more than one person, man. My piece of crap brother's one of them. That freaking, uh, um, these folks, you know, you're talking to them. Or, man, you prepping up, you know, you getting stuff put up for the, you know. Just for troubled times or whatever may come, because he knows what's coming, man. Uh, and they'll pop off with, oh yeah, man, I don't have to, man. I know this is, you know, Mormon guy over here, or this prepper guy over here, man. I'll just go take their stuff. You know, like they're going to go in there and, I've talked about this before, man, go in there and wipe them out and take their shit. What kind of freaking plan is that, man? That's one of them narcissist freaking... Uh, Narcissist, I'm better than everybody else, and I think I'm freaking Rambo. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll tell you what. You better watch that little, uh, just because he's an old-timer, and 
You know, it doesn't get around all that. I know some guys like this. It doesn't get around all that well, moves a little slow or whatever. I'll tell you what. You, some of them are Vietnam vets. Some of them are just natural badasses. Uh, lived away from things their whole lives and you come in there and think you're just gonna take their stuff you could be in for a rude awakening so oh that one just agitates and actually anybody that says that um you know and then they always finish it off with oh i was just joking man i was just joking it's like yeah okay dude stay the hell away from my property i'll shoot your ass <laughs> how easy is that dude Okay, what else? So I just wanted to touch on that because that, uh, really, dude. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit about the prepping and stocking up and stuff. Let me see if I wrote anything that I wanted to share. Then along the lines, you know, of, uh, being prepared or planning, whether you're doing, you know, rabbits or chickens or cows or sheep or goats or, you know, whatever you're raising or, uh, trying to raise for your food is the thing man crap happens man and the change of plans can happen in the blink of an eye you know no different than you know man I got my chickens before they were even laying you know and if you watch my videos you know he only ended up getting two of them thank God but I had a bear and, and I mean did he and I had a big old latch on there well it wasn't a huge latch but it had a latch on the door and was that bear watching, you know, and looking, or is he just, you know, has seen him enough? That bear, not a scratch mark on it, unlatched the lock on the door. No scratch marks or nothing of open, dude. He had to pull that door out. So he had to unlatch the door, pour, pull the door out, and get around it to get in there. You know, he ended up killing two of my chickens. Man, I got lucky that he didn't just wipe them all out. You know, thank God they could run out in there. I don't even know if they're big enough. I don't know if I'd built the yard yet. You know, because these chickens are our new ones and stuff. But it's right there. You know, any, you know, I got that mountain lion. I haven't seen him again since just the one time. No tracks, nothing like that. My dogs go crazy. But they, they're pretty crazy anyway. But... So, man, you got plans. You know, you got plans with your chickens. You, you know, I'm always paranoid about my rabbits. Other than really the only thing they could do is tear the cage up. And uh, I, they couldn't even flip that cage over. So, man, my rabbits are pretty dang safe. But you can get a bug or, a, you know, whatever. So, what I'm getting at is you may have these plans. You may have plans for, your, you know, a cow, you know, or cattle. You know, you're going to slaughter beef or hogs. You know, I raised hogs for years. I'm kicking around with, or talking about getting a hog this fall and just raising it and then butchering it before winter. So there's a plan. Well, wonder if the, you know, like it did my goats, wonder if a bear or cougar gets my, my hog, man, and I'm planning on that meat. That's my meat supply. And it just goes away just like that. Poof, gone. You know, same with your milk cow or your you know, uh, beef cow, or your chickens, or your rabbits, or your quail, you know, whatever you're raising, your garden, man, whatever you're growing, things, plans change, especially in my life, you know, man, I always talk about, I don't make plans very much, because, man, my plans always go to crap, so, you know, that's from little things to big things, so, always, have supplies you know some kind of supplies and then there was a thing that would there you know i ain't gonna get all into that but there was uh that video a while back that gal lost her mind and she's saying that uh that old prepper you know dude i've been around preppers vietnam vets all this my you know forever mormons man i mean and you don't show your stockpile, man. That's like showing your freaking cards playing poker, dude. You don't get on here and, you know, I ain't going to show you what I have or what I don't have. That's none of your dang business, man. That's, you don't show what you have. That just blows my mind. I can't, I can't even believe anybody would think that or concept that. But anyway, man, the number one thing, I don't care if you're raising... 
you know, anything, man, raising or growing or any of that, you still need to be putting up canned foods and beans, dry beans and rice, water, man, water is number one, man, you've got to have water, you know, so, I mean, you've got to put that stuff up, even if you're planning on that, you know, that hog or that beef, you still need to have the beans and the, you know, as much stuff as you can possibly. And I know a lot of y'all, man, I'm a poor kid, I understand, man. You know, especially when we were raising our kids, man. I've talked about that stuff in the past. You know, going out and buying, you can't run out and buy a bunch of crap one time. But I have a couple of uh, things I was thinking on that line that I jotted down here, too. And this ain't some huge, you know, run out and stock up all your, you know, all your stocks at one time, man. You're a poor kid and you ain't got no damn money. I'm sure I've got it. So, okay, so you ain't, you know, you ain't got a bunch of money, man. You got a few kids, a couple of kids, and, you know, man, barely, especially with the prices going up the way they're going up and everything, and price of eggs, and price of milk, and cereal, and, you know, six, seven bucks for a box of cereal, and what is a gallon of milk, five bucks, you know, I mean, holy crap, that's just for cereal milk in the morning. So, man, I get all that, but right now, Miss Kitty, on Saturdays, man, just so you know, and I don't, I would guess it's all Dollar Generals. You know, we just ended up getting a new Dollar General here about three months ago, and that is the closest thing to a grocery store that is not that far from us you know that's man dude i love it it has saved us so many trips because our closest you know grocery store or buy mart for us to go to is in weezer you know you got weezer's yeah roughly 50 miles and you got mccall that's 30 miles 35 miles whatever give or take so man round trip man round trip to weezer's over 100 miles Round trip to McCall, you know, is 70, 80 miles. So they ended up putting this in the little town down the road here, ended up putting in this Dollar General. The grocery store there is just, holy crap, their prices are insane. There is a little grocery store in the town, but I haven't been in there in two years. Never go in there. But anyway, but that Dollar General, that Dollar General, man, Holy smokes, it saved us so much in fuel, you know, because, I mean, for us to run down to Weezer and back's 30 bucks. You know, especially with fuel prices the way they were, you know, have came down a little bit, still should come down more. I don't even know. I haven't, I haven't been out of here. Well, I guess I did. I have been out of here because yesterday I ran up and got some feed up in New Meadows. But anyway, on Saturdays, and I'm sure that your dollar, well, I ain't sure, but your dollar general, I would think that they're all interlinked. On Saturdays, if you spend $25, you get $5 off. You know what I know, man, young families and all that, dude, 25 bucks might as well be 100, you know? I mean, that's a chunk of change. Well, if you wait, you know, instead of running down to your Walmart or running down to, you know, whatever grocery store it is you use, get in the habit because what Miss Kitty does is uh, she waits, you know, that's $5 off, you know? so. You know, you spend 25, you get five dollars off, so that's 20 bucks. You know, you're getting 25 dollars worth of crap for 20 bucks, not a lot, but every five bucks counts. So she waits, and on Saturdays, because they only do it on Saturdays, and she goes in there and she gets coffee because we go through about a can of coffee a week. She gets coffee, toilet paper, and paper towels, and then she'll throw in a couple of you know, canned food, because it's right there at the, I can't remember if she said there was something else, because I was ta asking her about it this morning before I did this, but, you know, she'll throw in a, you know, a couple of cans of tuna, or, you know, something, a bag of beans, or something like that, to get up to the 25, and basically, well, I know what she does, she ends up, that's right, because I always told her, I said, no matter what, always spend at least five bucks, I say five to ten dollars above that, because today I told her to get canned chicken, you know, and they're like three bucks, three sixty something a 
you know, for a thing of canned chicken. Canned chicken's a good thing to have in stock. So she'll basically she takes that five bucks that puts her up to the twenty-five. You know, so we end up getting five dollars worth of you know canned foods, whatever uh, stock. You know, we use that five bucks to stock something up. It's not a lot of money, but it's something, man. And that is the main thing you got to do is something. So that's just, I just thought that'd be a good idea if you don't have a lot of money, but you, you know, you on Wednesday you need to run out and get your toilet paper, your, you know, if you're getting paper towels or uh, beauty stuff, you know, I don't know, man, deodorant, I don't know, any of that is wait until Saturday and if you got a Dollar General close and go to the Dollar General and you ended up getting $5 worth of preps for free. Just an idea there, man. Oh, let me see what else we got on here. All right, man, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, you know, I just kind of jotted down. Like I said, man, I was listening to uh, podcasts and, you know, and then there's crap going on. <laughs> you know, from the them bringing up which is I'm pretty surprised man we'll see how that turns out man that old Alec Baldwin which I can't stand him you know getting brought up on them murder charges from that um, film set shooting and stuff so I did listen to a few things on that you know you gotta watch some of that soap opera crap <laughs> that's all I got man I'm about to do for another cup of coffee but more than anything that was the fish man and I'll definitely be researching that I'm sure we'll do Lots of videos on that government. Check out uh, Muskrat's little video. It's just a little short blip update thing. Which, like I said, man, I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, man, no. <laughs> so, I'm still exactly where I was two days ago. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Getting ready to work in here. Oh, you know, this is the... If you do the channel, man, this is the... Uh, Trading post, man. This is where we buy and sell, trade out of. You know, that's what we do for a living. That's how we make a living. And I'm going to be going through some stuff here and I'm going to be listing stuff on the eBay store. I still haven't got been putting too much stuff on the other sides, but got some stuff on there. And you can also check out the t shirts and the Patreon. We're going to be doing, uh, Miss Kitty came up with it, but doing a Patreon, I think I talked about it yesterday, a video, and we're going to do tours, and like we'll do a tour of the, you know, the, um, trading post, and we'll do a tour of the cook house, and some other outbuildings, and the property, and just do some little tours, you know, little 10 minute videos, or whatever, on Patreon, so you can go over there and join that, if you want to get part of that, don't know when we're going to get those on here, but in the next few days, and... Check out the other links, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And when you do that, if you would make a comment, man, I don't care if it's a thumbs up, a thumbs down, you know, <laughs> the middle finger, I don't, you know, anything, but a comment on the uh, this video, or all videos, and you know, obviously a like and all that, but and then ring the bell. And when you ring the bell, the little thing comes up and put the all. And these are just some things that I've been reading and people are telling me that's how one way not to get uh, unsubscribed, you know, because we've been, you know, get a bunch of subscribers and then you lose a bunch of subscribers. And that's one way to stick around with us. So if you do that, we'd appreciate that. Other than that, man, a good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.